Hello and welcome to another Nitrix tutorial. Uh, this time I'm going to be showing you how to get started with Linux. Uh, so uh, the Linux distribution I would recommend at the moment is Linux Lite. Uh, it's very easy to use, uh, it's very lightweight and it's fast, stable and does everything you need. And out of the box it has most of the software that most people need anyway. Uh, pre-installed, so that's quite nice. Uh, it also comes pre-installed with Steam and uh, Humble Bundle, Bundle sorry. Uh, so you have your games kind of out of the box as well. Uh, so just head over to linuxliteos.com and go to the download section and you'll see here they only have a 32-bit version uh, but it's a PAE so this means uh, it'll allow a 32-bit operating system to see more than 4 gigabytes of RAM, so don't worry about that. Uh, then you have two choices, you have a direct download, or you can download it via torrent, that's completely up to you. Uh, then when you have the ISO file, you just want to burn it to a CD, and then boot from the CD. So once you've done that, you want to put the CD in your machine, uh, and then you want to start it up. And don't forget to choose. Excuse me. Don't forget to choose CD. There we go. So once you've set it up correctly, you want to start up your machine and boot into it. What you, what you have now is two choices. You can do live boot, uh, which means you can use Linux Lite without actually having to install it, so you can test it if you like it or not, or you can go directly to the install. Uh, you have the option in the live boot uh, to install it once you're in, uh, on, or actually in the uh, GUI or the GUI. Um, just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to install it directly. Uh, we can change to full screen. There we go. Okay, so when you want to install, the first thing you want to do is choose your language. Uh, so for me that would be English. And then just click continue. Uh, I highly recommend that when you're doing this, uh, you connect it to the internet. Uh, because you can download updates during the install. And you can also install third-party software. This is just uh, extra codecs and so on. Uh, the reason they don't install this by these by default is because of license agreements in some countries, whatever. Uh, you have to have a minimum of 5.2 gigabyte of available free space. Uh, obviously to download the updates you need to be connected to the internet. You can do this via Wi-Fi, however if you do have a laptop I recommend you use a cable to install. Once you've done that, tick these two boxes, just click continue. Uh, if you don't have an internet connection, don't worry, you don't have to download the updates. You can uh, do it later on once you've already installed. So don't worry too much about it, if it's not possible. Okay, then you have uh, some options here. If you already have, for instance, Windows installed, it'll uh, ask you if you want to install uh, Linux Lite alongside Windows, so it'll basically be a dual boot. Um, the other thing you can do is either just erase a complete disk and only have Linux Lite installed or you can choose yourself how you want to partition your hard drive. Um, because everybody's partitioning will be different, I'm not really going to get into that. So I'm just going to take the first option because I don't have a dual boot going on in this virtual box. <coughs> Once you've chosen that, it'll tell you how much disk space you have and so on and then just click install. Uh, make sure if you do partition it yourself, uh, your root directory is ext4 and also your boot partition is also ext4 and then you also need a swap partition. <coughs> so I'll let this do what it's doing, I'll pause quickly and then I'll get back to you. Okay, there was no point in pausing there. Uh, here you can choose where you are, so basically this is uh, setting up your time zone for your clock and date and time as well. So continue on that. After this you'll be asked to choose your keyboard layout. Uh, so for me, even though I'm in Thailand, I have a US International. Um, again, this will be different for everybody. There we 
go. Continue. And then after this you can choose your name, your username, password and so on. So it's Mr. Nitrix and then for my computer name, Nixieboxy. Um, my username, uh, try and keep your username simple so I have my name capitals and small letters but for my username I just have all small. And then you want a pretty strong password, uh, make sure they match up. And there's a there's a, a bug in the install of Linux Lite, so autom login automatically won't work. But I'll show you as soon as it's installed how to uh, have it so it automatically logs in. Uh, if you don't want to log in automatically, I highly recommend that you encrypt your home folder and continue. And then now you're basically done. All you have to do is wait for the install to complete. Um, Restart your computer, make sure you're not booting from the CD, otherwise you'll just have the same uh, setup again. <coughs> and then you'll be booting into Linux Lite, so as soon as this is done, uh, I'll get back to you. Please remove installation media and close the tray, if any. So what we can do now is take out our CD, whatever, hit enter and it will restart. And then we boot from the hard drive. Okay, here just the first one. Okay, so even if you chose uh, auto login uh, for the first time, you want to type in your username and password, and I'll show you how to uh, fix this bug. Oh, make sure you type it correctly. And a virtual bug, uh, virtual box is bugging out on me. So there you go, now we want to uh, fix the auto login issue. If you don't want to auto login, then uh, you can just skip this step. So you want to open up the terminal, you can do that by compre pressing Ctrl, Alt and T. And then you want to type in GKSU space LXDM minus config. Open that up and now you want to type in your password, hit enter on that and then here you have the LXDM config uh, will pop up and then here you can tick automatic login. Now you can close that up and then we want to edit the lxdm.config file so we type and we have to do this as root so you type in sudo this will give us super user and then we want to open it with our uh, text editor which is leafpad in Linux Lite so we type in leafpad space and then you want to uh, go to the actual file so that would be in etc lxdm and it's called lxdmconf I think lxdm.conf I think that's correct yes there we go now this is our config file, so here on the first one you have uh, auto login. Uh, you just want to remove this uh, little thing, I've forgotten what the name is, and then you just want to type in your username here. And then you want to close that, make sure it's spelled correctly, close that and save it. And now auto login will function correctly. So this is going to be this is the end of the first tutorial. Um, uh, the next one will probably be how to set up your graphics drivers and uh, install a couple of programs using both uh, the um, install and remove uh, with the graphical user interface. There we go. So Synaptic Package Manager. We'll also be using the terminal to install some repository uh, to add some repositories and install some software using the terminal. So I hope this has helped some of you out. Um, just play around with this until I upload the next video. Uh, you can have a look at the programs that we have installed here. So as I said, you have Steam, you have GIMP Image Editor, uh, your have some internet programs like your web browser and so on, multimedia so you can have VLC so you can watch some movies, you have Office, this is LibreOffice uh, system, you can install some additional software directly from here, uh, we'll go through all of that in the next tutorial. 
So thanks for watching and as always, take care.